All right, welcome back, and uh, may God bless his soul, and may he rest in peace, and uh, all uh, condolences, our condolences to uh, the United Arab Emirates, the governments, and uh, people. Um, definitely today, and certainly uh, um, to these uh, circumstances which are ongoing, the uh, United Arab Emirates were, were very, um, uh, or rather, they had this urgent uh, meeting and have elected Abu Dhabi Crown Prince Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed and Nahyan as the president of uh, the United Arab Emirates. And uh, that makes uh, Sheikh Mohammed the third president of the United Arab Emirates, uh, the uh, Dubai uh, ruler and prime minister of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, shared, um, of course, was the first uh, to uh, um, to express his condolences, and the council had held this uh, meeting today at Al Musharraf uh, Palace in uh, Abu Dhabi. And uh, um, the meeting was attended by uh, all the heads of the uh, seven emirates, uh, headed by uh, Sheikh uh, Mohammed uh, bin, uh, bin uh, Zayed Al Nahyan uh, to discuss the issue and highlight uh, the uh, issue we have with us over the phone, uh, Dr. Amr Saleh political and economic analysts. Good afternoon to you, sir. Good afternoon to you. Good afternoon. Right. Uh, the uh, death of Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed uh, and uh, Sheikh uh, Khalifa, the second president of the United Arab Emirates, and uh, uh, the reign of his uh, of being in, in office. And how do you describe such uh, a period. Uh, well, uh, again, good morning, and um, um, uh, I would like to say that uh, this is a really uh, sad day, uh, a sad day for the United Arab Emirates and a sad day for the Arab countries. We've lost a big leader, a leader that took place uh, in very difficult moments here, you know, that he's the son of the great uh, Sheikh Zayed uh, uh, Al Nahyan. Uh, uh, um, the, the, the man that uh, has set the wisdom uh, in the Arab country, the man that has had a, a very uh, powerful and uh, eminent role uh, in the development of the Gulf regions, the man that has supported uh, Egypt a lot and lots of Arab countries. So Sheikh Khalifa uh, took, uh, took place uh, uh, in 2004 in a very difficult moment and, and he uh, led the country uh, to um, a very um, uh, uh, difficult uh, moments, and uh, he succeeded to bring the United Arab Emirates uh, among the ten, the ten countries, the most competitive uh, countries. You know that uh, Sheikh Khalifa have brought in the United Arab Emirates the biggest and the largest um, uh, structural changes uh, uh, in terms of the legislation, in terms of the institutional change, political change and that led the, the Arab Emirates to, to be one of the most competitive and one of the most uh, uh, advantaged uh, countries uh, in, in the world. Uh, we do all remember that, that Sheikh Khalifa, for example, he, uh, he, the merit of Sheikh Khalifa that he brought uh, 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 for the woman and the new constitution brought in the, um, uh, the National Council of the United Emirates the chance for the women uh, to be placed and to occupy half of the of the council, um, he uh, had the merit of being uh, the, the first president that has nominated uh, a minister of environment. For example, in, in this uh, country, he has worked for the uh, development and the, uh, the localization of the industries, uh, the human development. Uh, he had brought uh, in power the first uh, uh, judge woman in the countries. For example, in 2012, uh, we do remember all that he, uh, he sought the, the, the first uh, military college in, in, uh, in uh, the, the country. Uh, 2013, we all remember this uh, big step 
and this is a big advantage for the Arab, uh, uh, United Arab Emirates when he, uh, he uh, uh, gave the green lights for the uh, Shams project, which was the biggest, the biggest um, uh, solar energy project all over the world. Uh, this was in year 2013. And in 2014, we do remember that Sheikh Khalifa uh, have signed the, uh, uh, the protocol uh, that have allowed the United Arab Emirates uh, to conquer uh, um, uh, uh, the sky and uh, to work in the uh, Irish Special Industries and he is sort the uh, Emirates Irish Special Agent. One of the first and one of the most important um, uh, Emirates uh, uh, agencies uh, working in this area in the, in the Arab world. And we do remember that in, in 2017, the country, the UAE, uh, has uh, uh, designated this year as a, a year of uh, prosperity. 2018, the year of uh, Zayed, and 2019, uh, the year of tolerance. These are three important pillars that Sheikh Khalifa, uh, uh, peace on him, uh, have restored in this country and that have permitted the country to be one of the most competitive countries. You know that the United Arab Emirates, uh, for, for the last uh, 20 years, have been very open, uh, very open country, uh, have been very competitive for lots of investors, uh, you have in this country more than, than, than 202 nationalities living in peace. Uh, we do remember all that the uh, United Arab Emirates have hosted uh, uh, one of the most uh, important and one of the most dialogues between a uh, region. If you go to Dubai, if you go to Abu Dhabi, if you go to several Emirates, you find churches uh, in this uh, country. Um, uh, uh, Christians, uh, Jewish, uh, Muslims uh, are living uh, really uh, in peace. Enormous number of nationalities are living in this uh, country is working, they have their, uh, their business, they yes. have their kids. Yes. So, uh, this, yeah. Dr. Amr, just last year, just last year, uh, President uh, uh, of uh, the, uh, or late President of the United Arab Emirates, Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed, issued a decree on the adoption of the country's 10 principles for the next 50 years. Exactly. Yes. Uh, that was uh, 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 to just put the border lines for the upcoming 50 years of the United uh, Arab Emirates. The first was uh, for which was the key national focus should be strengthening the union, its institutions, legis uh, legislators, capabilities and finances. That was the first uh, article the, the of the target, decree. Yeah. Yes, the, the first target for the next uh, for the coming 50 years in the countries. Yes, uh, very true, very true. I, I do agree. And uh, uh, let me tell you that I had the chance. I had the chance to be one of the uh, one of the advisors and one of the people that have worked uh, on on these uh, files uh, for the 50 next coming 50 years for United Arab Emirates. Uh, economic uh, area and uh, let me tell you also that uh, the, the third one that you're talking about was very important uh, knowing that uh, uh, the Sheikh Khalifa have always called for uh, um, uh, rapid and uh, flexible and adaptable institutions in the country and if, if you see the, the institutions in the country the, um, uh, all the institutions whether we talk about uh, economic institutions or the institutions that are providing service uh, for the citizens or for the investors and for the foreigners that are living on these countries, the country's institutions are very flexible, very uh, adaptable, uh, very uh, efficient. Uh, there are no difference between uh, people. There are lots of integrity, enormous uh, level of integrity, mm. enormous level of transparency, and these are the most important foundations uh, that um, that gives you uh, impression that you have. Uh, a good government, that's what we call good government and efficient, efficient governments, mm. and that people are happy and the, the customers and the consumers and the people are happy to get services uh, um, as long as they, they, they want to get it in an affordable uh, price or let's say on a, from an economic point of view in an affordable cost. Let's, uh, say, so let's say that this decree has made a kind of road map to the future. Since we're speaking about the first article was unity and the importance of uh, uh, unity and 
uh, strengthening the institutions inside this uh, union. The second one was a strive to, uh, in the upcoming period, to um, build the best and most dynamic economy uh, exactly. uh, in the world, and that the world. was uh, the second article. The third one is a political one in which he uh, said that their foreign policy should be a tool that aims to serve their higher national goals. Exactly. exactly. So, so uh, a, a kind of road map that yeah. he drew for, uh, uh, for, this, for his own country for the next 50 years. How do you exactly. view how, how, uh, the, the, this decree and the importance of implementing uh, 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 this, this decree? Uh, well, let, let me tell you first of all, before talking about these uh, targets or these goals, let me, let me uh, tell you a very important point uh, because I have witnessed and I've seen the passion, the love uh, and the people uh, that were working on these uh, uh, in these uh, goals, in this agenda, in this roadmap. Uh, I've seen uh, uh, the, the people, the, the groups, different groups uh, from different Emirates, from different parts of the country, from different government entities that were providing uh, ideas uh, um, uh, about the, the, the status of the country and where do you want to go uh, or where do you, the, the UE want to go in the next 50 years. And uh, where do we stand and what do we possess? What are our capabilities and how can we do that? Uh, let me tell you that, uh, that this was really uh, a remarkable thing. And I've seen, uh, again, I've seen, I've told you, I've seen the passion, the love, um, and the integrity of uh, the experts, the team that uh, were working in this agenda, in this uh, roadmap. Uh, coming to the targets, very important targets and very wise targets and um, uh, the importance of these uh, targets that, uh, that the UE succeeded today uh, to be actually one of the best uh, uh, 10 competitive countries in the world. Uh, and the target is to be number one. Uh, this country, uh, and let me tell you the, uh, how things are going on and how the country is really um, uh, hoping to realize this. Well, investing, investing on people, investing on people is the, the, the key important factor. The UE is investing a lot on people. It's investing a lot on knowledge, investing a lot on good education, the quality of the education. They're not really investing and just putting money on education, but they're really investing on a premium quality of education. They're really investing on uh, preserving the culture, and this is very important, they, what they call here al-sana'a, in the United Arab Emirates, and Al-Sana is, is the real Emirati uh, culture that they want to preserve, uh, regardless uh, uh, what we can see uh, or the, uh, the threats that we can see in uh, the social media, the WhatsApp, and, and these kind of media that are affecting our kids. Yes. So they're really investing on the culture, they're really investing on, on, the, on, on, on uh, uh, promoting and, and, uh, and having uh, real Emirati leaders. The leadership here is impressive in UAE. The leadership, building leadership is really impressive. I've never seen this in, in any country on, on the, the world. Building leadership, building Emirati leadership that, can, can, that could um, or can uh, uh, lead uh, the way for the, the, for the future. Yes. And then the, uh, the other thing that is really helping the country is the uh, environment, the economic environment that is accepting everyone and that is helping everyone to come and to make business and to make profit as long as uh, people are um, um, respecting uh, the rules and Dr. the ethics of the country. Yes, Dr. Amr Salah, please stay with us as we uh, put this uh, report and the whole world have offered uh, condolences, their condolences, deep condolences to the death of the United Arab please. Emirates uh, President. Please stay with us as we uh, sure. uh, uh, put this uh, report sure. and we'll come back for more discussion. Sure. On his official social media account, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi mourned with sincere sadness and sorrow the UAE President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan. The President said the late Sheikh Khalifa was one of the greatest leaders who passed away after a long journey of giving to his country. 
until the UAE has become a model for development in the region. The president added that Sheikh Khalifa loved Egypt and was a loyal friend in all circumstances and conditions. The head of state offered condolences on behalf of the Egyptians to the UAE leadership, state and people. Emirati Ministry of Presidential Affairs said on Friday that the UAE President Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan died. He was also the ruler of the Abu Dhabi Emirates. The ministry said in a statement on state media that the Ministry of Presidential Affairs mourns to the UAE people, Arab and Islamic nations and the world the death of the President His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed al Nahyan. The ministry said the UAE will observe a 40-day mourning period with flags down at half-mast as of Friday and suspend work at all public and private sector entities for three days. Condolences started pouring in from Arab leaders. Jordan's King Abdullah II said in a message posted on Twitter that the Arab nation has lost a dear brother and an outstanding leader who inherited wisdom from his late great father, Sheikh Zayed, and dedicated his life to serving his country and the Arab and Islamic nations. The GCC Secretary General Naif al Hajraf said to Emirati leaders and people that Sheikh Khalifa passed after a life full of giving in the service of his people, his homeland and Arab and Islamic nations. Bahrain announced three days of mourning for Sheikh Khalifa in a statement released by the royal court. Amman also sent its condolences on Sheikh Khalifa's death. Iraq's President Baram Saleh and Prime Minister Mustafa al Qadimi also extended their condolences. Arab League Secretary General Ahmed Abu Ghid mourned with deep sorrow the late Sheikh Khalifa. The Arab League chief extended his condolences to the leadership, government and people of the United Arab Emirates, reiterating that the late UAE president during his life had enriched the joint Arab work. Abu Ghid added the Arab League will always remember the values and morals of Sheikh Khalifa. He said that the Arab League's flag will be flown at half-mast for three days. Welcome back, and uh, indeed a great man. And uh, the fourth principle was about uh, uh, the future drive for growth, where the human beings so uh, uh, working and developing uh, their capabilities was uh, a must. And was speaking, of course, about the citizens, the United Arab, uh, uh, Emirates citizens. The fifth, and that is uh, our uh, uh, next uh, discussion. The fifth principle was good neighbor lines in the, is the basic of stability. And that has been the foreign policy of the United Arab Emirates. And that was his will for that policy to continue. Dr. Amr Saleh. Yes, exactly. Uh, this is a very important uh, target. And it's not even a target, it's, it was even a principle. The uh, United Arab Emirates have been always um, uh, uh, very friendly uh, with the, the lots of people. And uh, not only lots of people, but lots of countries uh, never been uh, a part of conflict. Uh, on the contrary, you know that Sheikh Khalifa uh, is one of the most uh, important leaders that had given uh, or to rise foreign aid uh, for all over the, uh, the world, um, if you analyze the uh, quantity and the quality of the aid that the United Arab Emirates has given uh, uh, during crises and wars uh, to country, you will be impressed. Uh, um, even the, uh, the uh, year 2017 uh, uh, was called the, the year of prosperity, Am al Khir. And it was in sort of as a year of giving um, uh, and forgiveness uh, in uh, the UE uh, and the year 2019 with the year of, of uh, tolerance. Yes, um, uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Amr, uh, um, Sheikh Khalifa has gone away with uh, the United Arab Emirates and the country is now wielding growing political influence, has joined a military uh, 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 campaigns in many uh, uh, Arab countries in order to preserve the security and stability of the region. But here we have to highlight the very strong relations between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates and the support 
uh, Egypt has uh, had from the United Arab Emirates and how do you read such uh, uh, relationship and how do you uh, view the importance of these relations? Uh, this is a very important question because uh, let me tell you that the, the relation between Egypt and the UAE is really unique and it's really a model and I don't think that uh, Egypt will have uh, such a relation with uh, any Arab countries like uh, it's happening with the UAE for a very simple and, uh, uh, and very uh, unique reason that uh, uh, Sheikh Zayed uh, and Nahyan uh, peace upon uh, his soul uh, 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 before he died. We, know, we all know the, the, the positions and what Sheikh Zayed have done with Egypt during the, the war, uh, the uh, 1973 war in October, and we all know the support that he has given uh, to uh, our uh, country and, and we all the, the projects, uh, the project that he has financed. And before he died, and this is really famous and very well known in, in the UE here, that before he died, uh, he called his son and asked him to take care of Egypt uh, after he dies. And this will of the Sheikh Zayed, uh, a peace uh, be upon his soul, uh, have been transmitted to his kids. And, yes. um, and uh, we've seen uh, the number of visits uh, that have uh, been done by Sheikh Mohammed bin yes. Zayed uh, to Egypt and the, 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 uh, the visits have been done by President Fattah Sisi to, to the UAE. Yes, and, Dr. Uh, Ang, correct me if I'm the, wrong, the yes, President Fattah no, uh, even, uh -huh. uh, even days ago uh, uh, in a big conference. You are completely he, he, right. Uh, yeah. Before we move on. He also, Again, you have to remember the, the, the role of the Arab countries and the UAE in, uh, in Egypt during the, uh, the revolution and how they exactly. supported Egypt economically. Exactly. Before we move on with our discussion, we'll, we'll get uh, uh, just stay with us again so we can put this report on the United Arab uh, Emirates Egyptian relations. Just stay with us. Egypt's relations with its strategic ally, the United Arab Emirates, date back to 1971 when a federation was created between seven emirates, currently the United Arab Emirates. Recent years have witnessed close coordination between the two countries on key regional issues such as the Palestinian, Iraqi, Lebanese, Libyan, Yemeni and Syrian matters as well as combating terrorism and extremism. The UAE's support to Egypt since the June 30th revolution increased the Egyptian state's capability to confront internal and external challenges. The UAE also backed the Egyptian economy after the decision to float the Egyptian pound as the UAE deposited one billion US dollars in the Central Bank of Egypt for a period of six years to sustain the Egyptian exchange market. On the 2nd of December, the UAE celebrates its national day which marks the country's union day between the seven emirates of Abu Dhabi, Dubai, Sharjah, Ajman, Fujaira, and Umm Uyn in 1971. Sheikh Zayed bin Sultan was the country's first president. On the occasion of the UAE's national day, the United Arab Emirates is always celebrating an important unity. The United Arab Emirates is a strategic partner of Egypt and one of the Gulf countries that supported President Abdel Fattah el-Sisi since he took power in June 2014. On several occasions, Egypt's president reiterated his country's readiness to confront any aggression if the security of the Arab Gulf is exposed to any threat, which confirms the two countries' sturdy relations. Egypt's diversified relations with the UAE include business, trade, military and political aspects. The Central Bank of Egypt statistics illustrate that Egypt's trade exchange with the UAE has increased by 6.5% during the fiscal year 2017-18, up to 5.822 billion US dollars from 5.815 billion in the previous fiscal year. The UAE is one of the biggest investors in Egypt whilst the trade exchange is high as there is also existing a significant opportunity for further exports. Egypt and the UAE are in complete coordination with one another regarding their regional views and foreign policies. 
Egypt received the Crown Prince of Abu Dhabi and the Deputy Supreme Commander of the Armed Forces, Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, about eight times since June 2014. Whilst President Sisi has also visited the UAE about five times. Right, welcome back and uh, on Saturday and because of the very uh, uh, quick uh, um, developments and circumstances surrounding the whole, uh, the whole uh, world, the United Arab Emirates Federal Supreme Council, um, today uh, they have uh, held an urgent uh, meeting and they unanimously uh, elected his Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin uh, Zayed uh, Al Nahyan to be uh, the new uh, President of the United Arab Emirates. Dr. Amra, how do you view uh, the uh, importance or how do you view the future relations between Egypt and uh, the United Arab Emirates and the importance of uh, these uh, relations to continue at this upcoming uh, stage and I have only one minute left for me. Yeah, as I told you that uh, President Maharia uh, Zakaria Fatah-Sisi has uh, said that we have all to remember all that uh, without the support of uh, 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 some countries, the Gulf countries, especially the UAE, uh, Egypt would have been in a very critical uh, situation. Uh, and we do remember that uh, President Fatah-Sisi has called uh, for, uh, uh, for uh, defending uh, the uh, the United Arab Emirates, if any uh, threats, and I've been told, telling you that uh, the uh, the relations, even not the relation, I, I mean the uh, the love, and I would really say I'm choosing my word that there is really a love story. Yes, there is really a love story between the uh, Egyptian people and Dr. The, uh, Amr. People. Briefly, how do you view the future and the importance of these relations? Briefly, because uh, my time is is out. Please. This so, country, especially with President Mohammed bin Zayed. Yes, yes. I, uh, I guess uh, that brings us to the end of this episode of our program, Arab Affairs. Um, many thanks for uh, watching. Our condolences to the United Arab Emirates. Goodbye.